Hi guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I just wanted to do a short update video. I was able to come home from the hospital Monday. It is now Wednesday. I'm going to be, like I said, doing other videos about being admitted to the hospital when I can. I have some of them outlined, but just haven't felt up to recording anything. Um, like I said, I came home Monday with tons of appointments to still, you know, do, and it's just still a lot of medical chaos. I'm feeling much better than when I went into the hospital, but we're still not quite where I would like to be because I am due for my Remicade chemo infusion this weekend, so we knew that I wasn't going to feel fantastic coming home, but it's still an improvement. I'm very thankful for that. I have been extremely weak since coming home, which I was a little bit surprised by. I anticipated to be kind of tired and a little bit weak, but not to the degree that I've been feeling. So the hospital did give me a new walker because the one that I had was used and the one wheel doesn't really work on mine. So they asked if how I got my walker and it was used, somebody just gave it to me. So they were able to get me a new walker, which the insurance is paying for, and it's been really helpful. We have uh, two stories in the house, so I have a walker now upstairs that I can use and downstairs, because mine doesn't work great, but it's not awful, so you can still technically use it. But it's been really helpful. So right now we're just hanging out outside, Abby and I. She's just resting. I wanted to get out before the heat of the day and just let her get out for a bit to kind of hopefully burn some energy, although I'm not really certain that she's doing that at the moment because she's been just laying there for a while. But I have home PT coming today and this is my first session, so hopefully it'll go well. Hopefully. We don't have to do too much actual PT today because, like I said, I've been super weak and super tired. I know that we have to go over meds and my illnesses, so I'm not really sure what else to expect. They gave me a really big window of time, two hours, of when they may be here. So I'm kind of hoping they're on time because it is a little bit later in the day and... Well, they're coming, apparently she's playing with a fly. Gosh, I guess that's exercise, right? <laughs> it left already, thankfully. <laughs> but they're coming around dinner time, so I'm hoping that it doesn't end up being too long or too late. So, or they don't show up like two hours late or something. You never know. So that's kind of one of the things, like it's really great to have stuff at home, but then at the same time, like they do sometimes run really late and I don't really know them. So I know there's not going to be a ton of communication. So and that's not great. Like with even very, very mild anxiety, it does bother me when people are late because I don't know, I just like things on time or semi on time and it just messes up my schedule with meds and other stuff so I just try to you know stick to a schedule so I'm going to just go rest while Abby chases flies and ladybugs which she's never done before this video oh but funny story last night I was on the phone with my best friend and I'm talking to her and just 